let's start from exploring MongoDB databases and collections. Please remember that MongoDB consists of databases, each database consists of collections, and collection is a set of documents. And document is a collection of key value pairs. So let's examine what you get after clean installation of MongoDB. After initial MongoDB server setup, you get set of databases and collections out of the box. Those databases and collections are used mainly for system tasks and they are not used for storage of user data. Let's examine some commands that are used to display information about databases and collections. So first command is just command db. This command shows you active database. Usually, if you have just logged into MongoDB shell and it is a clean MongoDB setup, this database will be admin database. Second command show dbs. This command lists all databases that are created on MongoDB server. Admin, local and config databases are system databases. These databases contain system information, such as administrative user accounts, MongoDB logs, information related to replica set, and so on. If you want to switch to another database, you need to use command just use and database name. For example, if you have database called test, you need to enter use test and only after that start performing certain operations on this database. If you want to examine all collections inside active database, you need to use command show collections. Let's examine databases and collections on one of our MongoDB servers. And let's switch to MongoDB shell. I will connect to MongoDB server installed on virtual private server, just copy connection string, go to terminal and paste connection string, press enter. So I was connected to MongoDB shell, type CLS to clear terminal and let's look at the current active database. So just print db. So current active database is admin. Let's look at the collections in this database, just type show collections, system users and system.version. Remember that we have created admin user on this virtual private server during its configuration. And this admin user is located in system.users collection. Let's look at all databases that are present on this MongoDB server. So just type show dbs. You see that there are three databases. And all those three databases were created during initial server setup. Remember that on this server I have version db.version 3.6.3. In earlier versions you may not see config database. Let's switch to this config database for example. Just type use config. Switch to dbconfig. And if I print show collections here, you see that one collection is present here and it is called system.sessions. Let's switch to local database, use local, switch to db local and show collections here. Startup log collection is present here. Let's switch to robo3d. You can easily examine databases and collections in the tree view format on the left side of the Robo3T application. So just expand connection, you will see admin, local and config databases. For example, admin database consists of two collections, system.users and system.version. Let's examine same information on MongoDB Compass. I will connect here to MongoDB Atlas Cloud. So choose it in the list of favorites connection and click connect. In my case, MongoDB 3.4.14 is used. That's why there are only two databases and no config database. You see that local database consists of six collections. You can expand on the left side 
local database and you will see six collections here. For example, oplog.rs collection collects logs related to replica set. In the next section, we will discuss how you can create new database and new collection. See you shortly.